Hey guys, still here and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. It's episode 10 and I want to be optimizing some of the stuff that I laid down in the previous episode. Like a uh, spike in this head of wood slice over here, which is actually getting a lot more use out of this tram than I had possibly expected. I thought, small town, maybe some passengers want to use the ship. Well, it turns out there's 51 people over here who want to get to the Kruisstraat. And that... Let's see, is that this one? Nope, it's not that one. Nope, it's probably this station, right here. This is their only way to leave this place, so I gotta make sure that there's enough trams running. Now the money's coming in at a very nice pace. I'm getting 3 million, more or less. So I have enough cash to start expanding my operations a fair amount. And that is also going to mean that I'll be able to field more trains. And uh, that is gonna come at a good time. Because there is a lot of demand for this train. The utrecht schiedam line is currently one of the most profitable ones at 9.14. The other one, Amsterdam uh, to Venendal in de Wageningen, so the one that starts here and goes there. That one's bringing in about 900k to a million. Sometimes it goes up, sometimes it goes down a bit, you know how these things go. Uh, let's see, which one needs the train more? Which one needs a new train more? I'd say this one, 274, 211, uh, what do we have here, 240, oh god, that sound is so annoying, I need to try turning that off, and this one, 198, but that's the other line, that's the one that goes north, 43 here, so I think this train would warrant being replaced, let's see if I can replace it with a faster one, what's the fastest train I have? No diesels, no electrics yet. That makes sense. The 10-wheeler, 100 kph. That's a hell of a lot better than the, what, 60? 60 that I'm doing right now. The big, qu big question is, could I, in fact, get vehicles which are fast enough? The answer is no. Well, that sucks. Uh, maybe I can get up to 80. Let's say I want to use the Putilovs. This has a capacity of 132. That's quite a lot. 140. This is already going to cost me 4.2 million. I have 4.8. So I need something that can propel this train at 80 kilometers an hour. And there is nothing. Why do I have such a mismatch, I wonder? Because then I am going to end up with the 10-wheeler. <clears throat> Even if I don't like it, this is what I'm going to have to use for the simple reason that there's nothing that gets close. If only the game would have these in a sort of aligned fashion, that'd be lovely. Anyway, if I do it like this, I'm gaining a little bit of speed, but actually not nearly enough. And I don't think it's going to warrant 6.3 million spending. If I adjust the vehicle, I can see it cost me 5.6 million a piece to build one of these trains. I think I'm just gonna try and get up to that amount of money and then clone this train. And that should double the capacity while retaining the lower speed, but at least it's going to increase the profits that I get from this line. Now I've also been looking at this goods facility over here. The goods facility is, um, it's not that easy to supply, but it's not impossible, I found. Over here I have an oil well. Oh, before I forget, I'll change the spelling on this because that's wrong this is not Zandvoort with a T but Zandvoort with a D I'm not sure how the original yeah right not like that uh, how the original person who s created this map has done that but here we are um, anyway here's an oil well which I still have to rename. Here is a refinery. From the refinery, I can transport it over to here and then I have plastics. So that's half of the ingredients that this goods facility needs. I need plastics and I need steel. Steel, I have found, oh, where was it? Here, Venendal Edewageningen steel mill. I can ship the coal there uh, by ship. So literally ship it and then get the iron ore from over here. 
And then, judging by how close this is to the water, and how close this is to the water, I can probably bring a ship to transport all the steel. That would be a way to get it over there at a reasonably low price. The oil, or rather the plastics, that's a different matter entirely. I could set up a dock over here, and that would maybe pick up the plastics. So again, I'd be using my rivers, and that would allow me to only have to build one dock over here. Unfortunately, Schiedam does not want any goods. So I'd be building this whole infrastructure for uh, 86 goods to be delivered to Den Haag. <clears throat> That's a bit of a low amount. I don't think that warrants it. All right, let's duplicate this train. I don't think that warrants it. So I might later on start building my own industries because I can, albeit not cheaply. Uh, a forest, for example, is going to set me back 30 million. But that would allow me to use this facility a little easier. Other profitable opportunities? Well, I can still turn all of these vehicles into better ones. Because I'm still using coaches. Horse-drawn carriages here, doing 18 kph. Whereas by this time, I have access to the steam tarpaulins, which can transport 6 at a speed of 25. So that is quite a bit better. The thing is, I cannot really upgrade all of them at the same time. Because that's going to set me back 3.7 million. So that's a big investment. And I might instead wait for something that's um, going to be even faster. So I'll skip this generation of vehicles. New ship, the Klondike. The Klondike is, I believe, one of those transport capacities. Or transport capable ships for pass. No, not just passengers. They can transport a hell of a lot more. Large ships, though. I'm going to keep that in mind. Because it means that not all of the docks that I currently have can work with this type of ship. Speaking of ships, they're actually profitable. Not by a whole lot, but they're stimulating the growth of these towns. And that's what's most important to me. They're stimulating the growth. Speckenis, Elevoetslijs, I think, jumped up. Look at that. Uh, I can barely get that cursor on there. Come on. Yes, no, maybe. Well, anywhere somewhere between 100, there we go, 102 jumped to 168. If I can supply food to this town, or rather to the whole area over here, that'd be great. I still have the food processing plant, and I have the Leiden farm. Um, since this is a 2 to 1 ratio, I'll be getting... A maximum of 150 food. This town already eats 60. And this eats 80. Schiedam itself eats 90. Ah, that's not great. Are there any other ways to make food? Well, actually, I could also have the Rosendal farm provided. And that would double the output. Especially since this thing can still grow. Let's see. Could I do that? Build a dock quite close to the Rosendal farm, ship it here, and then maybe ship it to this dock, provided that I build a cargo depot next to it. Yeah, let's go for that. I like the whole naval element. Um, I need a main cargo building. And I'll build a small dock. With currently just one landing, because I don't need more than one. Over here, I'm going to need a new dock. This is going to be a cargo dock. And hopefully a little attach. Country road. Yeah, I know it's not attached. Don't worry about it. Yep, that catches it. Hold on. Train 2 and train 5 are not playing nice. Where are you guys? Why are you here? Or rather, why are you here? Why is train 2 on this side of the tracks? I thought we agreed that the other side was going to be the one that you take. That's going to cut into my profits if these trains are still for too long. Look at that, minus 480. 
Great. Yeah, could you? Thank you. Um, how big of a ship do I need? Do I need a big dock or a small dock? I should have figured that out before I decided to build that dock. Let's see, cargo. Large, small. I'll probably need a lot more capacity than just 70, so I might need to go for a big dock, a large one. Maybe deploy one of those Klondikes. So this dock has to be remodeled. Make it a large dock with a large landing. It's only 100k, it's no big deal. Same thing here. Adjust this. With a large landing. And then I need to try and get here. I wonder if this is going to connect. I wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't. Just a bit closer. It's probably too far away. Yeah, I think the thing is just too deep. And since it's a dock, I cannot really elevate it as far as I know. I mean, a train station or a bus stop, I mean, something like this, with dots and commas, you can elevate and lower this. But I cannot do the same thing for a dock because it has to be in the navigable waters. Can I make the road a little longer here? Oh, come on. No, it really doesn't want to. Um, <clears throat> in that case, I might have to do some remodeling over here and just start digging out a bit until I can get to that farm. Now, I do have a mod installed that is supposed to upgrade the capacity of farms. So that they organically grow bigger. Or that they have, I think, quadruple the capacity that they normally should have. But I don't think that that mod's working properly. <clears throat> Probably courtesy of this co this uh, custom map that I'm using. So unfortunately, that doesn't quite work. Alright, brush size bigger. <sighs> that was a million. <sighs> that was expensive. Is that enough? No, a dock won't fit there. Let's make it smaller. Come on. I need to dig out enough for the dock to position here and not too much that I'm gonna be completely over budget. Because this was a very, very quick way to just blow two million. And I was hoping that was not going to get that expensive, but unfortunately, I didn't quite get away with it. Oh, I can borrow some more, though. Just carefully digging out this area here. Oh, it has to be a large dock as well. Ah, fuck. It won't fit. Um, maybe if I fit the dock here and then manually set up the actual dock, so turn it into a large, let's say, protruding dock here, maybe then I can get away with it. Not enough money. <clears throat> Uh, 276. But it is colliding. I wonder, is it going to connect if I build it here? Let's check. No, that's collision. Nope. Come on. That's an expensive piece of road, though. 
Holy crap. It catches! Excellent. So all of this stuff was <laughs> very much unnecessary, unfortunately. Now to adjust it. Making sure it has a large dock. Uh, large dock. Let's actually not make it protrude too much, because I might still need to have other ships here. And a landing. Okay, still connected. First stop, here. Second stop, there. Third stop, here. So this is perfectly all on the same route. That's exactly what I want. Now, I did have a specific color for ships. Or so I thought... <clears throat> yeah, one of the darker blues. Alright, now I just need a bit more money, and I can buy myself that ship. Also, I'll need to figure out a way to start dropping off the food once they get here. Where do they need it? Other side of town. Right, so that's where I need to drop it off, which is going to require a truck stop. Making sure I can stash it somewhere and then get it to where it needs to be. That is pretty expensive. <coughs> Let's just go for a one platform at the moment. Alright, and then drop it off where we need it. Here. That catches everything. Perfect. Alright, line, start, stop. Uh, color. No, you're not a ship. Mmm, dark. Yeah, I was using the blacks for that, because it's a cargo line. This one is, uh, hell of food, slouch, spy, I think I called that, what, HSP, I think? Food. Supply. Verify. Trams, HSP, yes. Alright, I just need to set up a couple of vehicles. Let's do that here. I'm going to be dropping off quite a bit. Yeah, I might as well use the tarpaulins, although they have a very high emission rate. Not that these horses are much better. Hmm. Alright. Let's go for three tarpaulins. And those are going to be on the HSP food line. Maybe later on, if the town grows big enough, I'll go for a bigger... Uh, or sorry, I'll go for a tunnel around it. Alright, then I'm on a Klondike, and that's going on... Did I seriously call that line one? <coughs> I did, okay. Um, R-O-O -O for Rosendahl. Uh, grain food. Because it's transporting both. It's already getting a bunch of grain delivered to the harbor. This thing can hold 110. By the time that it gets here, it should already have a decent amount rating. And once it gets here, it's going to drop off that stuff. It won't really catch any food yet. Because it's going to take a little bit of time before this actually processes it into food. Um, I'd love to also supply the position here with the Leiden farm. But I cannot really do that with a ship. Uh, although, what I could do is set up another cargo dock here. Bring the farm food, so the, the grains, from here to the, the, the dock. Ship it there. <coughs> Bring it back. So it's going to ship one way with grain and back with food. It's going to be deadheading for 50% of the time. Or rather, the, the way back is going to be half empty. That's a way that I could do this. And that would supply Schiedam with food. Rotterdam doesn't want food. Gouda does, but I cannot provide it. Hmm. What I can do is at least repay some of the loan. There we go. We're down to 8 million in loan. 
seven and a half. How are my trains doing? Because I did add a new train here. There we go, 1.2 million. Capacity maxed out. Utterly full. And they should be able to keep that up, considering that there is still a good amount of traffic here. Uh, this station still has 112? Where's the train? Here's one. Oh, and there's the other one. Okay, so they're also spacing themselves out quite well. Now, I also have this construction materials plant, but unfortunately I cannot really use it, because nobody seems interested in having one. Or in having construction materials. Leiden does. Schiedam does. In order to supply this, I would need slag, which is a side product of producing steel. Or I would need sand. Which really is nowhere to be found. Yeah, here. This requires oil sand and produces fuel and sand. Let's say I wanted to use the Nijmegen fuel refinery. <clears throat> Could I do that? Can I find sand anywhere? Where is that being produced? Uh, oil sand, to be specific. That's iron ore, copper, coal. Hold on, did I miss it? Oh shit, it might not be on the map. Oh, that sucks. That means I'm gonna have to build my own in order to supply this thing. Right, so that's useless. Let's pay off some more loan. Okay. What I'm considering to do, by the way, is extend this train line so that it also reaches Arnhem and Velp. I could place the train station more or less here and that way have the train arrive there and then spread out passengers to both Felp and Arnhem. So have a sort of hub position here. Let's get that in uh, progress. Start that up. Let's build a track. Ideally not through a house. Homeowners don't like that generally. Unless it's a toy train, I presume. Let's go here and here. And passenger station with two tracks. Let's make it a long one. 500k. Hold up. Where else am I going to go? <clears throat> Where else am I going to go? Is this going to be a hub station? I don't think it will be. Because it's going to require a lot of bridges. So if I want to build a hub, it's likely going to be somewhere around here, so I can then tie stuff together there. So this is just going to be a transit station. Just a spot somewhere in the middle. Condition of my road vehicles is very poor here. I still need to upgrade a few lines with new vehicles. <clears throat> I'm not too fussed about it at the moment, though. Alright. I'm sorry about the forest, but it's going to have to make way for a couple larger stations here. Um, there's going to be one that goes to Arnhem and one that goes to Velp. So it's going to be two lines. Please tell me when to connect. I am actually building a bus slash uh, metro, no, a bus slash tram station, so it should work. But it doesn't. Really. It doesn't want to connect anywhere. Oh, now it does. Yes. Inching closer there. Still weird, this whole catchment thing. 
Yep, it is connected. Alright, as long as it's connected, I'm happy with it. Set up the connections. These are town roads. Medium street. And the other medium street here and there. Alright. Should be pretty straightforward. Drive into Arnhem, drive back, drive into Velp, drive back. The thing is, can I catch everything with one stop? In the case of Velp, yes. In the case of Arnhem, mostly yes. Alright, so that's two very straightforward tram lines. You're going to come out of here, and you're going to go there. And the stop is there. The other one... Um, let's keep it on the outside of town. Where hopefully the traffic isn't too bad. Whoops. Yes, and then I can even set up my tram depot here. Spin it around. What? You're gonna be like that now. There. Alright, two lines. One here, one there. Uh, RNM is ARN, at least in my book it is. RNM, tram, and the other one here to there. And that was the VELP tram, so VEL tram. <coughs> and the colors for these things should be red. Of a certain variety. Alright. Oh, you're going, you're going all the way like that. Not if you're a tram, you're not. Because you won't be able to. Two on one line. <coughs> RNM tram. Oh. Oh, you're electric tram tracks. Oh, I'm sorry. We don't have catenary here. I do have it here, right? Yep. <clears throat> All right. So now you should be able to get there. Yep. And two more, and you're going to go to Velp. I didn't set that line up correctly yet, because it still has the wrong color. I hope that the game automatically applies everything that I have done. Maybe. Come on. Yes. All right, so these are now connected. I just need to make sure that the train knows that it can go farther now. So once you have cleared this station, I want you to go there, to Arnhem. Which apparently it really doesn't feel like doing. Oh, there we go. There we go. So now it goes to Arnhem, it goes uh, back to Veenendaal Ede Wageningen and then back to Utrecht. So this line just got a lot longer. Set up a couple of signs, making sure that the train actually uses the right side of the tracks. Literally and figuratively. What? Why? Why are you doing this? Oh, right. Over here it's probably using the same terminal for two routes. Yeah, there we go. And now it cannot get there? What? Why not? What's part of the line that you cannot get to? From Venendaal, Ede Wageningen? You cannot get back to Utrecht? Excuse me? Why can you not? It is using two different terminals, so that's correct. I don't quite get it, because over here it seems to be using the right track. <coughs> oh, maybe this part is causing confusion. Now you cannot get there at all, can you? From Utrecht, you cannot get to Veenendaal Edewageningen anymore. 
that's not right. What terminal are you using in Utrecht? You are using the right terminal. What terminal are you using in Ede Wageningen? The wrong terminal. These need to be switched around. There we go. That's all that was the problem. For the rest of it, they're perfectly fine. Right. So this should also allow for more passengers to travel from Venedal Ede Wageningen over here to the new Arnhem station. And Velp is already spinning up. Arnhem is spinning up. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to see another vertical growth here. Or near vertical growth. <clears throat> 168. Wait for it. And we're going to see this thing probably go to... There we go, to 261. 268. Velp, 288 even. So just opening it up with a train station gets you about 110 additional residents. That's a lot of growth. Um, are the people here figuring out that they can get there? Yes, indeed they are. Well, what? You're going... You're going the wrong way? That makes no sense. The people who are on this train station, they want to go via Arnhem. So they're going to go east first. And then they're going to travel to Amstelveen. So these people are going to board here, move there, move back, back, and then there. My dear people, you're on the wrong side of the tracks. And these things do have those under passages, so they can actually get to the right side of the tracks. <clears throat> Why are you trying to get on board this train? I don't really see a reason for that. 56, 70, 80, near enough 80. Ooh, lots of new stuff. Six axle passenger car, capable of traveling 110 kph. Expensive as fuck, 1.3 million. This one, however, can do 100. So that's good. Passengers waiting here. Ah, they're still being delivered. Unsurprising. Let's spruce this station up a little. I want to get rid of these roofs. Mm, yep, that's all of them. And then I want to set up one of those large classic roofs. I do like the looks of that. All right, and the train is just about to arrive. Look at how green it is over here. Very good indeed. Let's see if the station has underpasses. Yes, it does, right there. There's one. <coughs> there's probably another one farther up ahead. Yeah, there's another one right here. All right. Welcome to Arnhem. We're picking up a few new people, but not nearly as many as I'd hoped. Probably because the 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 trams cannot really supply them fast enough. So I'll add another one tram to each line. Well, that's the Arnhem tram, and I also want one additional for the Velp tram. Manage vehicles, duplicate. All right, let's pay off a bit more of the loan. I'm getting down to 3 million now. Soon I won't have one at all, and it's just the 1900s. Alright, with that I'm going to end the episode. I've connected Arnhem. I am providing food now to Hellevoet Slash by Kinesse. Although it is not quite being delivered yet. Uh, mostly because... Oh, please tell me you can actually get food. Is that a mistake? Can this thing not transport food? No, it can. <clears throat> it can transport food. Okay. So it's all good. It can transport food. It just hasn't yet. But there is food waiting there. So soon enough, there should be food. 
All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And next episode, we're going to continue with the plan, continue with the upgrades, and continue paying off the loan so that by the end of it, I won't have a loan left. Thank you guys for watching. See you soon for more.